What's up travelers? So I'm sitting here at Pietro e Pantheon, which is just a few short strides away from the Pantheon. Stick around until the end of the video when we go and eat the best pizza in Rome. This day has not been going the way that I had hoped it would. It all started out really good, except for when I got to the church where St. Helena's remains are. They wouldn't allow cameras inside. I went to the church where the remains of two of the original 12 apostles were, and they're not open yet. They open up later. So then I went to the Pantheon, and then I found out that you have to have tickets to go to the Pantheon. That wasn't a thing six years ago when I was here. So then I w tried to go to the restaurant that I had chosen, and they're not open until tomorrow. Uh, Sundays, I tell you what. <laughs> Sundays in Italy, everything closes down. It's, it's crazy. But still, still a vibrant city. But here I am. I'm sitting here at Pietro de Pantheon. I just ordered some. Tono Rally a la Grecia. And we'll be right back, so check it out. Alright, so I got this uh, Tonnellini uh, Grecia, so it's got some Romano cheese, bacon, and uh, some black pepper on it, and the, and the noodles are homemade, and I also got this amazing looking green salad with Roma tomatoes, in fact I'm just going to jump right in and get one of these tomatoes right now. Tomatoes over here in Southern Europe, next level, I tell you what. Alright. Mix this up real good. Yeah, it's so good. These noodles are they're super thick. I'm not sure. I don't think that is a Romano cheese. I think it's something else, but it's definitely a cheese, and it's definitely good. And this bacon, wow. Italy. Not a place to come if you're trying to lose weight. <laughs> mm. Get a nice, nice stack of the salad here. Oh my god. <laughs> They give you balsamic and they give you extra virgin olive oil to throw into that. I bet it doesn't need it. Mm. And it's definitely a 
a, a Romano cheese, but I don't think it's a Pecorino like they use on the Catch or Pepe. I think it's a, probably a Parmesan, maybe. I'm not really sure. It's a very mild cheese, but very flavorful. And along with this bacon and the black pepper, it is just phenomenal. Something special. You know, this video goes to show that when things aren't going right, you know, just let things happen. Sometimes you're going to run into something that's absolutely amazing that was supposed to happen, even though it wasn't on your to-do list. <laughs> Always be flexible. You never have anything that's 100% unbreakable. Because if you do, you're going to have an experience, but you're not going to have the experience. I mean, yeah, do your tours and, and whatnot, the things that you really want to do. When it comes to just exploring the city and whatnot, be flexible. The things you find in, in a city like Rome, you're not going to find it on TripAdvisor. You're not going to find it in a, in a lost planet any of that stuff it's just not there you got to find it on your own that's the beauty of being a traveler you know my first time in rome i did pretty much what i did in naples and i ate pretty much only pizza <laughs> i mean I, I straight off i had some i had some pasta here and there but i think i really missed out that first time although the pizza here in rome is quite amazing Nice fatty piece of bacon there. Alright, well, be sure to like, subscribe. I'm sitting at my favorite pizza place to eat last time I was in Rome six and a half years ago. This place is called Pizzeria Formula One. They've got a race car theme going on here. I just ordered uh, two pieces of bruschetta. I got one with tomato and one with artichokes. Everybody keeps saying you gotta try the artichokes while you're in Rome, so this is step one. And then I also ordered Diavolo pizza, uh, which I believe is just a pepperoni pizza, but it's been, I've never had a pepperoni pizza here in Rome. I don't think it's even a, a normal thing here. So we're gonna check that out. 
this is the artichoke bruschetta and this is the pomodoro all right so let's just dig into this artichoke one first very light flavor it's nice the crust is very crusty very crunchy oh. yeah this one's really good it's got a nice tang to it the artichoke isn't too overpowering it's just a really nice light flavor going to the Pomodoro now. Mm. Look at how much tomato is on this. There really isn't much that can be Italian grown tomatoes. Mm. Hell yeah. We'll come back when the pizza gets here. We finally got our pepperoni pizza. The pizza here in Rome is quite a bit different than it is down in Naples, which is the reason why I decided to come here. Not only that, but this is also known as probably the best pizzeria in all of Rome. So you gotta, you know, you gotta pull your punches somewhere. As you can see, the crust is very thin. Uh, almost cracker-like down in Naples. It was well, the crust was always about that thick, you know, a good half inch thick. This you're gonna get about an eighth inch. It's way different. Same. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this. So I'm just gonna take a half and fold it because that's how we do. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. Oh, that is so good. You can tell they, they make their pizza sauce fresh every day. You can, you can just taste it. I mean, it is just fantastic. And then it's cooked in a wood fire oven. You get a nice char flavor. Mm. Probably in New York, this is the pizza that they try to recreate. I've never actually been to New York to eat the pizza. I will eventually. In New York, what they're trying to do with the thin crust is exactly what they're doing right here. And I, I don't know, I, I bet they missed the mark because they ain't got Italian ingredients. It's just that simple. Mm. Ooh, that pepperoni's got some zest to it. It's got that a really nice porky flavor to it after you swallow then, then all that pepper is just coming kind of like a flamethrower right into your mouth and it's like woo I wasn't expecting that. Mm. Oh yeah. The reason why I ended up coming here, there's a place about a block from here that I went to and it was more of a pasta place and uh, they actually made the pasta at the table before they took it into the kitchen to cook it. And I was hoping to, to get a video of that. Unfortunately, they are on vacation until the 8th and that's three days after I leave Rome, so that sucks. <laughs> but we'll be eating in Florence by then, so good times. When you come to Rome, make it a point to come eat this pizza. <laughs> Pizzeria Formula One. Like I said, it's the best pizza in all of Rome. And that's going back, they're 40 years old in fact. Uh, they, they started in uh, 1978, which so did I. <laughs> so it's actually 43 years old. Glad I tracked this place down again. Eat great food.